Fresh from the showcase here at Swiss Watch Expo, today we have three fantastic ladies Patek Philippe watches that are new arrivals. And what you may learn about them may surprise you, or maybe not, but they're fantastic watches anyway. So let's check them out. Patek Philippe, so one of, if not the most prestigious watchmaker in all of Swiss fine watchmaking, uh, has a very rich and incredible history of ladies' watches. And three great new arrivals that we just got here are fantastic looking modern ladies' pieces. And they say a lot about Patek as a brand and about where they're going. And I really wanted to highlight them because they are all so unique, so special in their own way. So I'm just going to dive right into it. The first one we have is a very new updated take on an absolute classic. It is a Calatrava in rose gold. This is in beautiful 18 karat rose gold. And the first thing I wanted to highlight about it, and this kind of goes into sort of how modernizing or how Patek Philippe is sort of modernizing their watches with the more recent ladies line, is that this is a 33 millimeter case. You may notice that as the traditional size of the men's Calatrava. So if you were looking for a classic looking Calatrava reference, which is also very popular with women now because of its size, uh, you'll notice not a lot of men are rocking watches like that unless they're going for a very sort of austere dress piece. So this one a bit larger, bit of on the uh, larger side for a lady's watch, and definitely an attention grabber for a lot of reasons. One, you'll notice I'm counting is this four, maybe five rows of diamonds on this bezel here, so it's definitely an attention grabber. Uh, kind of does steal a little bit of the spotlight away from this beautiful looking cream colored dial, but I love the rose gold Arabic numerals there, which perfectly match the case, and have this super fun looking sort of purplish, maybe slight hint of fuchsia. Uh, looks like lizard skin strap here, which definitely adds a bit of flair to what is a pretty traditionally sized watch. But again, when you got this much diamonds and you're going up to 33 millimeters, this is one that's going to grab some attention and for good reason. This is definitely a watch for a lady who likes their watch and wants people to notice that they like it as well. Uh, so this one is a bit more of, again, sort of a more feminine take on a absolute classic from uh, Patek Philippe. The next one I wanted to highlight even more so, this is a ladies Nautilus. And this one here is 35 millimeters. So it is a scaled down version of the men's Nautilus, again, with a beautiful diamond bezel here, which does really, really pop. And you can say that for all of these. Uh, not a lot I could say about this that you couldn't say about the men's watch because this is quite literally just a scaled down steel Nautilus with a diamond bezel. But this is great for a modern ladies watch. It's a great modern lady size. And for Patek, uh, a brand not really known for making a lot of larger watches. I mean, the men's only goes up to 40 millimeters uh, in this the most traditional Nautilus size. So this is definitely Patek sort of modernizing itself even more with the sizes and the fact that this is a lot more sporty than a traditional ladies watch would ever look like. But this is one of the most sought after models in the watch market today. The Nautilus fetches for an obscene amount of money because it is so hard to find. And usually those sort of market forces don't affect ladies watches quite as much, but that does not go for this one. The Nautilus is always going to be a hard find and we are so lucky to have this and whoever puts this on their wrist is going to be very lucky to own it as well. The bracelet construction, again, much like the case is exactly the same, but this is, every time I hold it in my hands, I do have to mention it. This is a fantastically constructed constructed bracelet for how minimal it is. And I do love the polished center link look on any size that you can get this watch in. I wanted to say what I think is the best or definitely the most unique for last. This is a mother of pearl white gold Patek 24. And unlike the other two, which are scaled down or slightly tweaked versions of the men, men's watch, the 24 was introduced and always uh, meant to be exclusively a ladies watch. And this was a big deal for Patek. I don't think they had done anything quite like this with a whole new line. Uh, with other of their more popular models, they did scale them down for ladies, and that was sort of what their ladies line looked like. The 24 was a completely redesigned watch, completely remarketed exclusively to women. And I think the original tagline they came out uh, with it is, who will you be for the next 24 hours? And whoever owns this for the next 24 hours is going to be quite impressive because this is a very unique watch from a very unique luxury brand here. The first thing you'll notice is this Pave set patterned diamond dial slash case slash lugs. They did the whole thing in this pattern and it was an absolute sight to behold and the inspiration for doing this video in the first place. So the first thing you'll notice is you do have sort of circular patterns. There's a half circular motif here that leaves a little bit sort of off screen and you could tell like there's uh, I don't know what you would call some sort of continuation of it that you can't see on the case, but it does perfectly align with both the case, 
the lugs and this dial. And it is so incredibly well done and it'll instantly be a marvel. This is not a subtle timepiece, but then again, it's not meant to be. You could tell with the amount of work that went into this. Beautiful looking white case. The mother of pearl. I do love how shiny and flat and silvery it is. This is, and I, I have to imagine this is an intentional choice. Not a particularly brilliant mother of pearl, but anything that was going to get a lot of pink or green tones was definitely going to distract from this diamond setting here. So I think they picked the perfect type of mother of pearl because this is one of the rare examples that you wouldn't want a kaleidoscope of colors here. You would want to keep with this black and white motif and you do see just how much these the dark black numerals here at 12 and 6 really pop against sort of the whiteness and the shininess of both the diamonds and this mother of pearl. A beautiful looking white strap here. This is something that is really going to be apparent on the wrist. You will notice this from across the room, which is telling because this is also going to be the smallest of the two watches. Definitely the most feminine in size, but also hands down the loudest and a really, really unique watch that is going to absolutely make the centerpiece of someone's collection, just about any collection I imagine, to whoever owns this. And this is just a taste of the Lady Paddock section that we have on our website. So check them out. These are just the three new arrivals that I wanted to highlight, but we have tons more for you to check out, including a little bit uh, more austere, less special pieces like this. But if you want something unique with a ton of flair, you need to give us a call because we have a ton of examples at SwissWatchExpo.com.